Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. Today we are going to discuss about Elastic Cache. In order to search for the Elastic Cache, go to the services in a search bar, search for Elastic Cache. Here you can able to find the Elastic Cache. Click on it. Here it is going to show how the Elastic Cache is going to work. The Elastic Cache is going to support the different media streaming and as well as social media website data access. Basically, cache is a memory which lies between CPU and main memory. By using a cache, we can able to retrieve the data in a faster manner. Here, if you are going to click the get started, you are having two types of cache. Here, Amazon Elastic Cache supports two types of cache. So one is Redis and another one is Memcache. Here, I am going to click on Redis and as well as Memcache. By using this, we can able retrieve the data in a faster manner. Here, the first thing what I am going to do is, I am going to create a Redis cluster. Click on create Redis cluster. So here, you can able to restore the data by from the previous backups if you have any. So we doesn't have any backup in order to create a new cluster. I am going to click on configure a new cluster. And next, here you are going to create a cluster mode whether you want to enable a cluster or you want to disable a cluster. At present, here if you are going to enable the cluster, so across the 500 number of nodes, so then it improves the performances. So at present, I am going to disable the cluster. Here in cluster information, you would like to create a cluster name. Here I am going to create flying grip redis cluster one hyphen redis cluster. So next, here the same thing I am going to copy here and I am going to paste it here. So now here you are going to use a the Amazon AWS cloud. By using a here I am going to click AWS cloud. So next here you are having a different types of engines and version at present I am going to take higher version. So now whenever you are going to create a Redis, so note down the port number and uh, go to the notepad and paste that particular port number for Redis. So next here the node type is most important thing which you would like to configure here cache or file large it is using if you are unaware of this particular large instance you will be get charged so select the t2 micro which is relatively small so that it is going to support up to 500 mb of capacity so next number of re replicas you would like to create on failover so here i am going to create one so now whether you want to create a new subnet group, you can able to create a new subnet group and you can able to create. Here you can able to copy FG Redis cluster and I am going to create a new subnet group. So here Redis subnet. So next here if you want to do any description, copy the thing and paste it. So now the default VPC which we are using, we are having a default VPC, don't change that one. And here you are having a different subnet, south 1A, 1B and 1C. So you can able to manage on this and you can able to select by choosing the subnet. By default, it is going to assign the things. So next availability zone, here we are going to have no preference by selected default. If you want to specify the availability zone, you can able to choose availability zone 1A for primary and replica 1B. So in this manner, you can able to select this preferences. As at present, I am selecting no preference. Click on next. So if you want to create an encryption, it is going to create an encrypted replica. Otherwise, you leave it blank. And if you want to manage this particular selected subnet group, which you have created, so now which you have created the particular subnet you need to select that particular subnet so now this is a default vpc which we are having and uh, you can select any particular one among this one at present i am going to select rds ec21 or launch instance so whatever the thing if you want you can able to select at present i am going to select uh, efs so next click on choose so now make sure and uh, copy this particular subnet group which you have copied so now i am going to copy this uh, subnet group otherwise you would be confused over there so here no preference disable notification click on next 
and review all the things and click on create now we have created a redis cluster so next in the similar manner you are going to create a memcached cluster create a memcached cluster so aws cloud and uh, here you can able to type fg flying grip memcached demo so this is what we have typed and paste it here and the engine and the port number for memcache you need to note down this one otherwise uh, you will be forgotten so next uh, important type is node type and uh, you need to specify t2 micro otherwise you also because it will be charged so next uh, if you want to create select the subnet and uh, create new subnet g hyphen memcache hyphen sg so this is a subnet group which you are going to create so this is default vpc no preference select and next uh, here you are having security groups and manage and uh, here we have copied the security group and uh, copy that particular security group in manage and paste it so select that particular group so choose and you have chosen that one make sure both the things are same or not so i am pressing enter and i am going to press. so both are same no problem and click on next and create basically the main difference between redis and memcached is it can able to store key value up to 1 mb only and but whereas in the case of redis it can able to store the key value up to 500 mb so this is the main difference between uh, redis and uh, memcache and uh, here if you are using a redis it is going to support list hash and sorted sets and uh, whereas in the case of uh, memcache uh, it supports multi threading environment now let us create an ec2 instance so now i am going to search for ec2 so now we have gone to the security groups which we have created and uh, go to the edit inbound rules okay so here you add a rule and uh, custom tcp ip and anywhere so this one you have added and save the rule and create add a rule and now copy this particular port number and for which particular port range and you are going to save and uh, select for all everywhere and add a rule and a custom tcp and here you copy the memcached ip uh, port number and paste it here and uh, save the changes so here we have specified a default so which is created by the efs so now save the rules this was created while creating the elastic file system but however we have added uh, two extra permissions and uh, all traffic is allowed and uh, we have enabled the port number 6379 and as well as double one two double one so here i am going to click a launch an instance amazon linux 2 so browse for the ami and uh, here i will select uh, amazon which is peter eligible select the key pair you want to so here is existing security group so select a default security group so now here launch an instance so click on view all instances now it is in pending state and uh, it has to come to the running state so now click on memcache so now it is running state and uh, status checks are passing here you are having a public ip copy the public ip open the putty paste the public ip go to the ssh authentication browse the key select the one to keep a and go to the window and appearance and change the fault click on open so login as ec2 user now it has been authenticated so now you need to install uh, the following commands the first command you would like to execute is sudo amazon linux extras install So here you are having a different types of extras are available in this EPEC. So this particular command we would like to install. EPEL. 
so now it is going to be install this particular command so press s yes. so now it has been installed now type the command sudo m update so now it is going to update the uh, selected packages press s yes to continue now the updates are finished so now you need to install redis now redis is being installed press s to continue so now if you would like to know the redis version sli iphone version So now it is going to show the Redis CLI version 3.2.12. So next we are going to type the command. So now you need to specify the endpoint of a particular Redis. So this is the Redis. Click on the Redis. Here under the node you are having a, the endpoint. So now here you are having a primary endpoint. Copy the primary endpoint. Here you need to type the command. Redis CLI iPhone space H and followed by this command and here at the end you have to specify hyphen P which is a port number. So now you are being connected to this particular Redis. So now here what you are going to do is here you are going to set the city set city. So now uh, you can able to specify the value 10 and uh, so now get city. City is a key and the 10 is a value which you have got. In a similar manner you are going to set the pin, set pin and uh, you are going to specify the where value 515001 is the pin code and here it has shown ok and now if you are going to get the pin and it is going to show the pin code and similarly if you want to set a mobile followed by mobile number set mobile followed by So then if you want to get the particular mobile instead of set you will if you are getting you are going to get the mobile number in this manner you can able to access the redis and uh, you came to know how to install the cli commands so in a similar manner we will let us uh, connect to the memcache so now here i am going to install the command sudo m install tell me so now you are going to install the package called telnet in order to connect to the memcache so now i have installed the uh, telnet and what i am going to do is and i am going to type the port number and uh, followed by the telnet command so now here I am going to copy the particular port number and I, here I am going to memcache and click on the memcache. So now we are having an endpoint over here, copy the endpoint. So now go to the putty. So here I am going to type a telnet space followed by endpoint. So now type enter. So you need to type telnet followed by the port number go to the memcached and uh, copy the end point and uh, see this particular command what they are going to type the command so my class cluster is the name of this particular thing so now paste so now aws.com so followed by the port number so space so now here it is going to show set a 005 
so you are going to type the value hello so let us see set a 0 0 5 h l l o it is stored let let us type another one so get a so next get a so now we have got the value which is stored in the particular database in this manner you can work with the memcache and uh, as well as redis the main difference between these two are it is going to store by the key and the value pairs and uh, memcache is used for multi-threading which is having the less capacity of memory's key value which is 1 mb so you cannot go exceed 1 mb of data in memcached but whereas in the case of redis you can able to store the data up to 512 mb in this manner you can able to connect memcache and as well as redis if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching have a nice day